Hello scrappers, let me show you what I have today. Look at these boards, they are so beautiful. Look at this gold plating of the legs of these elements. So these are old boards, it's a combination of uh, Bulgarian and Russian elements. And when I have such boards, what I usually do? I usually cut these electronic elements that contain gold and have gold plated legs really close to the board, like this. I'll tell you why. Because part of the gold is in the solder. But I process this gold with the solder separately. This makes my life easier. So, what I'll do now, <clears throat> I will cut all these elements that have gold plated legs, like, like this here, for example. You see how many legs it has? And they are really good quality. I mean, this is old style, old Russian electronics. So here you have really thick gold plating. And it's really worth scrapping this and recovering gold from them. I will cover gold in the next video from these electronic elements. But until then, let me show you quickly how they look like. Look at this. It's fantastic. So, so yellow is so nice yellow color. And the most important look at the legs. They're so long. So, in Ukraine, Russia, people buy this uh, and they pay decent amount of money per piece, especially when they have long legs, long legs. But I prefer to collect them and I prefer to recover gold from them. So, and these capacitors, they usually have silver, small amount, but still. So I put them separately. It will take long time before I decide to process them because the amount of silver is really low. In these elements also, if you look here, you see that probably you have silver. And of course you have the ICs. Some of these ICs, even visible gold plating on the on the decks you can see. You also have some diodes and that's all on this board. Let's look on the other. For example, this one is interesting because here we have another beauty. Look at these capacitors. These capacitors, they are crazy expensive. These are old school Soviet Union capacitors that contain ridiculously high amount of palladium. And some of them contain also uh, platinum. So I'll just keep them separately. And you see, I found one and we have, you have two, three, and one more here, four, on this board only. Here you, we have a couple of more. So you, you can see that these boards are, and, and so many, so many good capacitors on this board, look at this. So you can see these boards are literally covered with high gold, and high palladium yield elements. Nothing on the other side, but here looks fantastic. Look at these two boards. What, what more than this can I ask for? So I will speed up now a little this video and remove all the, let's say, valuable, important elements. And let me show you at the end what I have.
Okay guys, so what is left on these boards? We have a lot of solar, probably some silver. Also, what I will also remove from these boards are these diodes and these, the, the glass ones. Usually there is a gold wire, really tiny inside of them. Uh, also, I remove all these red diodes, just keep them and I remove this. I think they look like resistors, there is some silver in, in them. So that's from the first board. On the second, similar story. We have these good ICs, 1LB553. These are from 1973. So I suggest that this device was seven, from 73, 74, 1973, 74. Not that much left, diodes, this ICs with heat gun can be removed. This is silver, considering from the cover, it's uh, not palladium and it's double sided, so that's fine. Similar story here, diodes, ICs, some silver containing these resistors. Here are some big ones, so you can see how they look like. So this is really silver, you see the cover. These big diodes, Probably there is nothing in them. I have to check them. And this is the last board on which we simply have 11 ICs that probably have good gold content. I can try to break one of them just to check if some gold will appear or not. No, these are not that easy to break turn to be oh well, that's fine so these are the boards still some work but that's not urgent because nothing crazy valuable remaining there what is really valuable this is really valuable look at this they're at about 50 and they're bulgarian transistors like this t uh, 2t is written on top of them. There are all of these electronic elements have gold plated legs and not only gold plated but really long gold plated legs. So I would expect probably half gram of gold from these electronic elements. So I'll process them in the next video. And what is really left uh, here I put uh, the silver containing capacitors. Not that much in them. Uh, I can say it's more about uh, if silver really goes high I will process I have huge piles of silver containing uh, Soviet Union capacitors because the content is not that high uh, I don't have time and it no, it's not really cost efficient to me to process them now but if price of silver goes crazy high then it will be a really good idea and also look at this. Uh, these are nice Russian ones or Soviet Union ones, H90. So if I sell these only as capacitors and they are more than 10 grams, probably I have 15 US dollars only here. They're at about 150 something like this per gram. And they're pretty heavy. There's a lot of palladium, probably platinum in this. Okay, so amazing boards. From five boards, I ended up with two small boxes. Half gram of gold and probably half gram of palladium here in these capacitors. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't miss my next video. I will recover gold from these electronic elements. Let's check if we really have half gram here. Thanks for watching and keep scrapping.